Hi everyone, Massimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have some really cool stuff to show you inside of Zoho Mail. So a lot of you have been requesting and searching Zoho Mail and recently Zoho Mail actually changed their setup and their settings. And so what I'm gonna do in today's video is walk you through all of the do's and don'ts and the watch outs, uh, et cetera, in setting up your Zoho Mail. Hope you enjoy the video. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to join my office hours. I have a link below. There's more and more of you coming every week. It's a chance for you to meet me, ask me questions, learn about the Zoho suite. And yeah, see you in the video. All right. So let's get into it. So when you first log into Zoho Mail, you'll see something like this, right? So I'm in a dummy inbox here, so there's no emails, but you may have a list of emails. So where we're gonna be focusing on today is up here in the settings icon. So when you click on the settings icon, there's a bunch of stuff I'm gonna walk you through. So let's start here. So number one, what I'll let you know is this has changed quite a bit in literally a couple weeks ago. And so now you can toggle between mail and calendar. I'm gonna go through mail today. So when you start here, it walks you through some settings and I'm gonna explain them. So continue from where I left off. When you start up, let's say you had an email open or an inbox open or your outbox open or sent, it'll bring you right back into there. Otherwise, you can actually toggle it and say, land me in always my inbox, no matter where I was when I shut down the browser. That's completely up to you. Display language is obvious. You can customize your font and your font size. Typically, I would say go with your browser because if you're zooming in and out or you're setting up certain settings in your browser, I would say to tell Zoho Mail to match that. It's sometimes confusing if you have a larger font in Zoho Mail versus in your browser. You can set your themes here. So you can see on the left-hand side, mine is dark. You can do light or white and then different colors. There's also a dark mode in Zoho Mail now, if you didn't know that, and it's actually got really enhanced lately, which is awesome. You can choose to always have it on dark mode, and I'll show you how to toggle it as well. Uh, or you can use system settings. So if you have, if your system goes from light to dark during the day, Zoho Mail will follow that. This is an important one. You can toggle on and off desktop notifications. So I technically have it on, but then I block it through my browser. It's completely up to you if you want to turn it on or off. This will actually show some of the content of your email. It'll give you a notification if you like. Here is an interesting one as well, the Smart Create menu. So this Smart Create menu, if you highlight over a particular email, you can actually click on one of these few options. So number one, you can search if it's a person's name or whatever, or an email, you can search to find them. You can create a quick event here. You can create a quick task. You can create a quick note, or you can actually send them an email. So if you want this feature turned on, I'd say it's very handy. And then here is probably the other interesting one that you should do where if, for example, you double click on an email, oftentimes on Windows, it'll open up Outlook or oftentimes on Mac, it'll open up Apple Mail. You can actually make Zoho Mail your default composer inside of your browser. So I would recommend doing that. And then lastly, I would say for this one, it's something that's new. We're going to try it out soon, but basically any attachment you download, you can secure it with passwords. So that's just a handy feature, good practice to do. I won't spend too much time on keyboard shortcuts. I'd encourage you to go through this on your own. There are a ton in Zoho Mail to make your everyday work much faster. Integrations, I'm also going to skip over, but essentially what integrations is, uh, if I click on it here, you can integrate with all kinds of other applications. So if you have a CRM, you can send data into your CRM right from the Mail Composer. You can see some of these are kind of tools that will enrich your data. So if a new lead or someone writes into your email, you can actually enrich that data and say, oh, it is Michael Smith from ABC Company, etc. These presets are handy. If you don't know what these are, within Zoho Mail, you can actually have a reminder. So you can go to an email and tell it to remind you to answer that email in a certain amount of time. And these are just presets. So when you hit reminder, it's gonna pop up and say 10 minutes, one hour, one week, et cetera. So you can add more. And also snooze, it's another handy feature. You can actually tell your inbox to snooze. So basically no new emails from that person will come in for an allotted period of time. Active sync, it's kind of a no brainer, keep these on. Uh, it, that just means it's constantly syncing data. So between the mail app, between the calendar app, and between the contact app. So this is mobile and desktop. Okay, so now some of the more fun settings, the everyday use settings. So it allows you to choose how you see your email. So you can see here, you can do a vertical preview. So you'll actually have your emails on the left. You can click on it and it'll show the email vertically to the right, as you see here. 
Some people prefer horizontal. So you have all your emails listed and then you can click on it and it'll show the email underneath, like a preview of the content. Others prefer to actually open the email in a new tab. That's traditionally like an Outlook style method uh, where you click on the email, it'll open it in a new tab. And then even further, you could do a new window. These are just some everyday settings I would encourage you to go through. Uh, they have 24 hour time, 12 hour time. And this is just all usability settings. There are some fun ones here. If you get a group email, you can avoid duplicates. You can actually tell it. So Zoho has some new features where you can actually translate emails. So if an email comes in a different language or there's pieces of the email in a different language, you can tell it to translate. So I encourage you to toggle that on. This is an important one, depending on what app you're using. If you're using the CRM, I would encourage you to check this box. This will actually create all of the events that someone sends you in the CRM, not in Zoho Mail. The reason why that might be relevant is if you're using something like Zoho Bookings or even the online calendaring tool inside of Zoho, you should um, toggle on the CRM because then it will take away availability from those apps. If you use Zoho Calendar, it won't. But if you're just using Zoho Calendar, use that one. It's a great calendar. Some compose settings here, similar to the mail view options. When you're composing an email, how do you want it to work? Do you want it to create a brand new window where you're composing the email? Do you want it to just make another tab up here? That's my preference. Or do you want it inline? Go through that, try them each out. You can toggle them very quickly, it's very easy. You can have left to right, right to left. Your font options are all in here. And I would encourage you to toggle these ones as well. You can have undo and outbox delays. Um, it saved me many times in the past when maybe you send an email too quickly or uh, you haven't thought about it or you made a mistake on it and you hit send. This will actually allow you to delay that send and you can undo it. After. So when you send it, it'll actually have a little undo ribbon. You can click that. And so you can toggle how long Zoho gives you to undo it, five to 30 seconds. These are all some more settings here that you should just go through on your own. Offline mode is a newer feature where basically Zoho can store all of your emails. Basically what it does is it downloads them. And so you can choose to have them offline. So this is handy for people that are traveling a lot, going on airplanes or just in low cell or, or Wi-Fi reception areas. You can go online, hit offline, it'll download everything. Then you can respond and write to those emails. And then once you hit the internet again, it'll send them all. This is one of the most asked about uh, features inside of Zoho Mail. So the conversation view is definitely something I would recommend. What it does is it kind of shows, you can see a photo of it here. So let's say there were 10 threads in an email. Instead of having 10 separate emails, it'll have one email thread that you can click on the little number 10 and it'll show all the other emails related to that thread. You can click through them or you can minimize it and just see the most recent one. And all this is allowing you to do is it's saying, what if there's, what if you moved one email to your uh, sent and one to your junk and whatever? It's saying show all of them, no matter where they are. And I would recommend doing that. Folders, this just allows you to manage your folders. Archive policy, you can turn on an archive policy. This helps save some storage. It's also just a good practice. So I'd encourage you to do this if you don't have it. Um, and it can archive mails older than three run three months or unread emails filters i'm not going to spend a ton of time on today but essentially what they are is they are ways to actually uh, filter certain things or certain emails that come into you so you could say whenever an email comes from abc send it to xyz right now or tag it or delete it or whatever so they're very handy features hotkeys is something kind of that more and more people are using including myself where you can basically make little hotkeys so when you're typing out an email you can just hit backslash so for me when i hit backslash zm it will send people my calendar link if i hit backslash ol it'll send them my booking link and so it just becomes a, a, a very quick way to answer emails, uh, especially with links. Out of office is obvious. And then just going over a few of these other ones here, the anti-spam list. Basically what you can do there is you can actually add emails that you think are spam to that list and keep track of them over time. Signature is an obvious one that you should set up. It's just like any other software or mail software. You can add a signature here. You can put in phone numbers, photos, all kinds of stuff here. The sharing and delegation one, I'm not going to go into too much, but it is a newer feature coming from Zoho where you can actually delegate. It's not fully released yet, but you can delegate your inbox or any any folder basically uh, to, let's say, an assistant or an admin person. And so they can actually send mail on behalf of you. So when that officially releases, I'm going to do a video on that. But I would encourage you to go through all of these settings, make them your own. They can seem a little daunting at first, but hopefully this video helped. Thank you.